Milk is a common ingredient consumed on a day-to-day -day basis in almost every household. Whether consumed on its own, in tea, or in other value-added products, milk is good for the bones because it offers a rich source of calcium. Milk is used to make products like butter and ice cream, which are a common favorite among Kenyans. Value addition in dairy farming in Kenya is the in thing in this sector of agriculture. Many farmers have opted to endeavor into this sector by making yogurt, butter, among other products. Demand for some of the milk-produced products like yogurt has been rising steadily since 2010 and the market remains significantly undersupplied. This is what drove Victor Silla, who is the managing director and founder of Eden Dairy Limited, to quit his job in finance and come back to his home in Makueni to start yogurt production. Yeah, Eden Dairy Limited uh, is based in Makindu, Makueni County. Um, we buy milk from farmers and then uh, do value addition and make it into yogurt. Uh, basically, my, back, my background is in finance. Um, I decided to venture into yogurt manufacturing because I saw an opportunity in uh, Makueni County because uh, most of the yogurt that is consumed here comes from Nairobi and uh, far away counties. So I saw an opportunity and decided to venture into that business. Silla saw a gap and decided to fill it. He observed that most of the yogurt that was being sold in the area was quite expensive and so he set himself apart by ensuring that his product was available to everyone. The yogurt that was, uh, uh, that was there now before we came in to fill the space, eh? it was uh, quite expensive. Then when we came, when we came into the market, eh? we were... Uh, we package our yogurt in such a way that even the poor person can afford yogurt. Because uh, our smallest size, which is 100 ml, with 20 bob, you can afford yogurt. Then the other size, which, which follows that, now the 150 ml, with just 30 shillings, you can afford it. Even the 250 ml, with it's cheaper compared to, to other brands. So, first of all, we've not compromised on the quality, but in terms of now our packaging, which gives us uh, a competitive edge, the poor person can afford yogurt. Most entrepreneurs like Silla have come to the realization that it is more profitable to revalue the milk as compared to selling it fresh. Think of it this way. A litre of raw milk from the farm costs 40 Kenny shillings. Each litre can produce four glasses of 250 millilitres of yoghurt, which currently retails around 55 Kenny shillings each. Simply put, a litre of milk if converted into yoghurt and marketed the right way can give as much as 220 Kenny shillings. Eden Dairy Limited has been in the business for a period of seven months and the response so far is good. The yogurt comes in two flavors, strawberry and vanilla, but there are plans to add different flavors. We've been uh, in this business from, uh, from around March 20, 2018, so that, that's around seven, seven months, eight months there. The response has been very positive because uh, guys identify with our product. It's one of their own. So when they, when they take it, they take it with pride because it comes from Makweni County. Right now we have uh, vanilla and strawberry, which are the most popular. We are planning to add mango and maybe passion. Though the business has been in existence for the past seven months, the financier started small. He began saving up for his business in 2017. After he had saved up enough, he engaged the Kenya Bureau of Standards and from there, he continued with the same spirit and never looked back. I started this journey last year, not in March. So when I saw that opportunity in Makueni, I started saving towards this venture. So every month I would save, 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 save. Then I think when my savings were a bit substantial, eh, I started buying the machines. 
I engaged suppliers in Nairobi who fabricated the, the pasteurizers and the cooling tanks and all the other small equipment there. Then uh, after that, uh, I also engaged cabs. We made a few samples at home. <laughs> we started at home, eh? making a few samples, taking them to cabs. Now when cabs uh, certified them and said that they were okay, they came and inspected the premises where, where, whereby we were supposed to operate from. They okayed the premises. And then uh, we, we got the cab certification. Now from there, we went to um, the packaging companies uh, who designed the packaging materials. See the, the caps? Eh? They designed the packaging, uh, the artwork and everything. And now from there, but we started small. Eh? We started making, uh, we did not start with 250 liters. We started with around 40. 40, we take the product into the market, we sell it, just slowly by slowly. If, that we, used, if we even used to do production uh, how many days in a week? Two days in a week. Yeah, just slowly by slowly until our product now was fully accepted in the market. Now from there, we started now the daily production. Like in every other business, there are teething problems that every entrepreneur encounters. Sila was no exception. One of the challenges he experienced was the breaking down of his machines and trying to convince people to purchase a new product in the market. Our biggest challenge was uh, the machines breaking down every now and then. Also trying to convince guys eh, about your product. It was a new product in the market, but uh, eventually we, it, it, it got accepted. So that was uh, a huge challenge, but uh, we made it through. Despite these challenges, Sila was able to overcome them and now he is making a turnover of 850,000 Kenyan shillings every month from just adding value to milk. After purchasing one liter of milk at 50 Kenyan shillings, the same liter of milk will cost 150 Kenyan shillings after value addition, earning him a profit of 100 Kenyan shillings per liter. For a startup, huh? I can see the progress is quite positive eh? because uh, right now we are doing around 250 liters of milk in a day. We buy a liter of milk uh, at 50 shillings and roughly after value addition, a liter of yogurt is 150 shillings. Our monthly turnover is not that bad. It's around 850,000 in a month. Yes, our monthly turnover. And for a startup, that, that's not bad. Although the business is making profits, the one challenge that he faces is increasing the capacity as the demand is there, but supply is quite low. For there to be increase in production, more machines need to be purchased, which might end up being quite heavy on his pocket. We want to increase the capacity, but uh, the dairy, the dairy uh, equipment, these machines are very expensive because uh, that small pasteurizer will, will cost almost half a million and uh, you can see it's very small. Eh? So now, taking it to the next level, we'll, we'll need uh, um, some substantive capital, uh, or rather huge capital outlay. Yeah. So I think that's, that's our biggest challenge right now, to, to scale up. Victor has given us a sneak peek of what his business journey was like. After the break, he takes us through the process of making yogurt.